Well, you aren't going to stand there all day, are you? I need that detention slip, young lady. The same teacher who had given you your first ever detention slip a toast. You slowly move from your spot, your eyes glued to the floor as you walk to the front of the classroom and hand the mean looking man the small paper. You feel his gaze burning through the side of your head, feeling your heart rate increases as you tighten your sweaty hands on your backpack straps before turning. Before turning around to find a seat, unfortunately, as soon as you turn around, Jungkook's dark brown eyes land on your face, watching you in amusement as he sat leaning back in his chair. How did he even get detention anyways? You quickly avert your gaze as you start walking past the row of desks away from anywhere Jungkook was sitting. It's not until you feel his large hand grab your arm when you pass by his desk. Panic starts rising in your chest. You try pulling away but his hold is too firm. Let go of me. You barely let out. Say still trying to pull away from him as you look down at his unbothered face. Sit, he orders, nodding his head over to the seat next to him. You look at the seat before looking back at Jungkook and slowly shaking your head no. I am okay. You said wanting to leave his presence completely. I didn't fucking ask you. He scolds his voice laced with annoyance and you swallowed. You swallowed the lump in your throat before quickly sitting down on the chair. The teacher was too busy to notice anything. His focus on the phone in his hands now. And the other couple of students were dead asleep. Your body was stiff as you sat on the chair as far as you could be from him. Your fingers nervously start wrapping around each other as your eyes are glued to the clock in front of the classroom. One hour. How would you last an entire hour? Stop. He grumbles and you look at him confused at what he was talking about. Stop what? You said your eyes glancing down to his bruised up knuckles. You think back to the guy who had thrown those balled up papers at you and his beat up fist. The same guy who had told you about some person who had helped you. Was Jungkook the one who punched him? The idea pops into your head as you think about it. It's not sure if that would even be possible considering. Considering Jungkook would rather kill you than helping you, he lets out a breath of annoyance, leaning his head back as his hands move into his pockets. Stop moving your fucking hands. He let out and you look down at your hands before quickly moving them under your legs. Sorry. You muttered, turning away. You couldn't help but steal one more glance at him. Even you couldn't deny Jungkook was handsome. His short jawline, dark eyes, the muscles on his arms bulging through the dress shirt, he left the top buttons open, and even the curves around his face all made him even more attractive looking. Too bad his murderous personality ruined it all. I never took you as someone to be in detention. He scoffs his attention on the phone which is in is in his hand now. Me neither. You muttered more to yourself than I know anyone else considering how quiet you said those two words. He glances over at you before raising a brow. What did you do? He suddenly asked you. I, I was late to the class. It was true. It just wasn't the entire story. He didn't need to know the details. You com contemplate what you are about to say next until you suddenly blurt it out with no question. How about you? You ask completely out of nowhere. You wasn't trying to make conversation. You was just terrified of being in silence with Jungkook, thinking that maybe if you distract him, he wouldn't think as much about killing you for suspecting you are some sort of spy, which you most definitely wasn't. Why are you talking to me? He replied, his tone bored as he glances over at you. You widen your eyes, opening your mouth to say something as you feel yourself started to panic. Oh, oh, sorry. 
is all you manage out as you tuck a strand of hair behind your ear and avoid looking over his way. He mumbles curse words under his breath before throwing his phone on the table and moving his hands in his pocket as he turns his head towards you. Stop being so fucking scared. If I'm going to kill you, it won't be here, Angel. He utters out and you feel your face runs pale and your body fill with goosebumps. Angel, why did he call you that? He looked too calm when he said that sentence like it was normal for him to say that. And his eyes looked even more dangerous, cold and emotionless. He can't be serious. There's no way he would actually kill you. You doubted that. Especially after seeing that gun, the fights, the dripping blood on his fist and face he comes home with. You had no doubt he has killed someone before and you was probably next to the head list. You seem close with Jungle. What was he telling you earlier? He asks, his face void of any emotions as he closely watches you. How had he even seen you both talking? It, it was nothing. He just asked me to come watch the football game. You said noticing his jaw tightened before a small smoke covers his face. It wasn't a genuine one. It was dark and held something much more sinister than a mere gesture of happiness. Jungwoo interested in a servant, a maid. Jungkook scoffed, pulling his legs up on the chair in front of him. You drop your head low at the words that leave his mouth. Servant, maid. That's all you was to anyone at this school. You wish you could just be wired, just be you normal. Your eyes graze over to Jungkook as you watch him pull out a black bundle blade moving the shiny object effortlessly around his large fingers. You swallowed the lump in your throat as As you watch him holding the dangerous weapon before turning to the teacher who still had no attention on the class, you let your eyes shift to the clock and you almost cry in frustration when you realize it's only been 10 minutes. Maybe if you convince him you wasn't some stupid spy, he would leave you alone. Then he will never talk to you again and you have one less problem off your chest. You could tell him you're not a spy, figuring the best way to go at it is admitting you. Admitting you recognized him from the alleyway that night. You just have to say it was a coincidence you was there and give some other excuse. I admit it. You blurt out all of a sudden, feeling your body tense as his hands stop playing with the blade and he moves his eyes over to your own. You swallowed the lump in your throat before looking back at Jungkook noticing the amusement placing in his eyes. Like he knew what you are going to say at one point like he knew he would win. I, I was in the alleyway that night but I'm not a spy. You start freezing when you realize you haven't even thought of an excuse yet on why you are not a spy. I know, he said, the edge of his lips moving up ever so slightly, slightly as he voiced to his shocked face. He knew? Then why should he threaten you, mess with you? Then why? Shut up. He mocks you, letting out an annoyed sigh as he brings his legs down from the chair. You blink your eyes, looking down at your hands as you start playing with them before quickly stopping yourself. Sorry, you mutter, looking up to see him glaring at you in annoyance. Could you be mo any more pathetic? He grumbles under his breath as he grabs his backpack and stands up. Is the det detention over? You ask watching him as he slips the blade back into his pocket. You'll find out soon. 
is all he said and you follow your brows together as you check the time it definitely hasn't been an hour jungkook slammed the door open not even caring that the teacher would hear him that's when it all turns to chaos the and you watch as the teacher snaps his head towards the sound of the door opening jumping up from his seat as he yelled curse words at jungkook Mr. John, just wait until I get you suspended. Get back here right now. This is not allowed. He heaves out, moving his big body out of the door. You could hear him running down the hall, his keys jangling as the yelling got quieter the further he went. Your gaze moves to the window and you widen your eyes as you watch Jungkook walk out of the school calmly with his hands in his pockets. No hint of fear that the teacher would catch him. What's wrong with this guy? He moves his legs over a black motorcycle pulling a helmet over his head before speeding out into the street. The teacher doesn't come into sight for another couple minutes, his chest heaving up and down as he moves his hand to his knees accepting defeat. You didn't know what any of this meant. If he knew you wasn't a spy, he was supposed to leave you alone, right? But in the way he spoke to you today, you had the feeling this wasn't the end and that terrifies you. Thank you.